Who's here? Steve Pink. I've heard about that guy. The Steve Pink Wind-Up Show. Hello? Hello? Who's that? Hello, can I speak to Mrs. Thomason, please? Yeah, hold on to you, no. Thank you very much. It's all up for you. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Thomason? Yes? Yes, it's Andrew Lewis from the shop. You know, you got the bike from. Oh, yes. Yes, uh, you're picking up today, are you? Yeah, that's right. Right, the thing is, is that it's taken us longer to put it together than we first thought. Right. Uh, so there's going to be a £20 charge for that. Hold on a minute. Hello? Yes, who's this? It's Mr. Thomas here, isn't it? Yes, right. I was just saying that to the missus that it's going to be about £20. Pounds, just right? hold on a minute, mate. Listen to me now. Right. I bought a big bike from you last year, right? Right, yes, I know that. The reason I bought it from you, you said to me when your lads there. Uh, but it took, to us me, long, it took us longer to put it together than normal, you see. Listen to me, you didn't charge me anything to put it together. And you said the reason you buy from us is because if you buy from a catalogue, you get it in a box. Yes. You told me this. Well, calm down then. It's kind of. It's been sold £20 to put a little bike together. Well, that's what it's, it's cost. It's Mate, it, it took... cost it nothing. You told me, don't buy from a catalogue for the reason parts are missing and you, if you buy from us, we put them together Well, if you. it's so easy and to put together... that's the reason I bought it from you. Well, if it's so easy to put together, why don't you put it together yourself? Mate, because I bought it from you because I didn't want it in a box. Well, that's the way they come these days. No, Lee, mate, listen and as to I me. Said to you at well, the you time, all told to me. You're not letting me get a word in. Well, you're not letting me get a word in, anyways. Well, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to explain that, uh, obviously, we charge £2 normally, but it's taken us longer to put it together. So £20, otherwise you don't get the bike. Don't say that with me, mate. What do you mean? Hey, listen to me. I'm telling you now, I'll come, I'll come down now. Don't you take this attitude with me, what young man. What attitude with you? He's costing me up, I'll take the bloody police on you. I beg your pardon? I'll get the police on you. What, for putting a bike together? Wait, mate, I'll go to a solicitor. Yes. And I'll tell you now, I bought it back off you. As far as I'm concerned, it was being put, put up, that's why I bought it off you. Are you thick or what? It's £20 it's going to cost you. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you were putting up, we never mentioned the charge. Well, I'm telling you now, it's 20 quid. If you want this bike, that's how much it is, £20. Mate, pounds. I'm going to come down to your shop, and I'll tell you what, we're we- going to sort this out. Yes, we are. Well, I hope you're not going to get violent. Violent? Because you sound like a bit of a thug Hold to me. Hold on a minute, who I thought to speak to you? Hello? Yes, hello. He's not violent, my husband. Well, I should think he isn't, No, you know. he isn't violent at all. Right, that's but good. Are you, are you violent? I agree with him. I agree with him on this. Are you violent? No, not at all. Oh, that's good, then. Well, I was just saying there to him, you know, loudmouth. It's that... not loud. It's because he works in an engineering mm. and there's very loud machinery and he talks very loud. He Does can't it? help that. Well, big mouth there, anyway. Well, that's... Was... he's not a big mouth. Well, he's... he's not a big mouth. Excuse me, he's not a big mouth. Well, I'm I just bought saying... the bike off you for £70 and as mm. far as I was concerned, oh, the bike was up. I was just saying, that's all, that it took us longer than normal, so £20. I agree. You... All right, that's fair enough. Otherwise but you I'm don't get the bike. To me, if I'd have brought that bike home here, mm. right, and we wouldn't have had no chance putting it together, right. and I'd have brought it to your shop, you would, would you have put it up for me? What are you talking about? Right, you was going to give me the bike, wasn't you, on Friday? Was I? Yes, right, in a box. Yes. He said it will take you 20 minutes put, to put the bike well, up. Well, the whole point. It's taken me all weekend to put it together. Right. Listen to me. So if I'd have brought that bike home... Can you get to the point, love? Me and my husband would have never have put the bike up. Right. Would well, we? it, well, obviously, he would have never done it because he's pretty thick, isn't he? No, he's not thick. No, oh, he sounds pretty thick to me. Why is he thick? Well, he just sounds that way on the phone. Why does you he know, sound that way? If you don't mind me saying so. Why, why, why does he seem that way? Well, it just seems a bit thick to me, you know, because... In what? Uh, well, I'm just telling him it's well, 20... Well, what he said that's made you think he's thick? Well, because I'm telling him it's 20 quid and he's arguing the point. Yeah, because we can't afford to pay £20 to put a bloody bike up. Why? That's why. Well, why not? I but... think £70 quite enough to pay for a kiddie's bike. Well, what did you buy for in the first place, then? Pardon? Well, why did you buy it in the first place? Because we can't afford it. Because wasn't being charged £20 to put a damn bike up. Well, you are now. I'm bloody well not. I'll have my money back. What do you mean? I'll have my money back for my bike. <laughs> You're dead right, love. For your bike? For my bike. I've not received it yet. Well, I can't give you your money back. Do you want to bet? I've got my bloody rights and I'll be going to the citizen's advice straight away now before I come to you, love. Calm down, love. I haven't said Don't so. you tell me to calm down. So you talk to me like a piece of dog food. Dog and food. you talk to me husband that way. Right? And I know my rights, love. I've been to citizen's advice before about people. You know and you... I will be going now. Pardon? I will be going now about you. 
I want, I have right to have my money well, back. I tell you, away. I've never heard anything like this in all my life. No, I've not. I really haven't. So people th- must just accept you and say, all right, love, I'll pay you the £20. Mm, well, they people do. People must have money to burn. Well, they do, no. But we <laughs> haven't. Well, I've had this letter here from Nigel. Do you know Nigel? No. Nigel Hallows? Yes, Nigel Hallows, yes. Yes, well, he's written to me about you and your bike, you see. Me and my bike? Yeah, because this isn't the guy from the shop. This is Steve Pank. I'll kill him! I'll kill him! It's a wind-up from... <gasps> oh, God. Your very good friend Nigel has dropped us a line. Am I on the radio now? You are right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, no! Oh. How are you, Amanda? Oh, no! <laughs> I can't believe this. How are you, Amanda? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Amanda, have a lovely day. Thanks very much. Bye-bye! Bye! Steve Pink, the Steve Pink Wind-Up Show.